gotta I just gotta finish off one of my probably world's greatest destructing acts mm. on um moist moist <laughs> Watkins. <laughs> Oh, I no. want to start the show out this week by showing yet another. <laughs> oh no! Wait, I've never. Are you form kidding? of disrespect? Finish him. <laughs> this is a wedding day photo, I believe, and it is quite shameful, Mister Watkins. <laughs> Your problems That's mount. Terrible. Have you ever seen this picture, D? No, I have not. What about Honest you, Martin? Honest to God. No. This one worse than the last one. Yeah. Uh yeah. This is the man's wedding day. Who's the guy, who's the fella? Okay. So Willie D. Boys is the one looking goofy. I can't see it's cut off from here. And my brother Willie D. Oh, there you go. Oh yeah. Oh, look at is that. Is the face. one she looking like? Why couldn't it be you? <laughs> That's terrible. If I'm you sorry. This, I don't mean to be loud. Was, if you was a random person and you look at this picture, you would think. Willie D will be the one married. Now he's the one walking the down. Willie aisle. D looking at it like, no, bitch, go up there and get married to this man. <laughs> you gotta play it off. Hey, do you see boys walking face? Yeah, it looks super like simp face as this is ridiculous, dog. He looked like the daddy walking her down the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> Quick backstory on this. Corey Hoka made a joke about a couple weeks ago saying that he wished that his baby mama was not alive. Boyce Watkins used that as an opportunity to essentially launch a lot of criticisms and everything at Corey Hokum. Corey Hokum then proceeded to roast him pretty badly. Boyce Watkins replied with what I assess to be a lot of deflections where he really didn't answer anything directly. He just used it as a platform to talk about all his other stuff, but he was kind of taking shots and taking jabs. And now this is Corey Holcomb's response to the response of the response of the response. We're that many rounds deep in this thing. Let's go. Bad place. The man said everybody calling him a simp for the wrong reason. And I know he was doing it on purpose. I got a woman that adore me. They got my back. And I would get down on one knee in front of the world for her. If you didn't have gout. If, 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 yeah, if I didn't have gout, like Marcus said. But I'm saying, like, getting on one knee for a woman that you love don't make you a simp. Getting on one knee for somebody who came back out the streets like Forrest Gump girl did. That's what's simpish about what you did. This is this is the problem. Miss Watkins, we need you to come out publicly and say you love your husband because he has lost too much credibility with these photos. I ain't even showed all the shit people sent to me. Man, that was brutal saying that she came about the woodwork like uh, Jenny and Forrest Gump. But that was brutal. However, if you listen to Boyce Watkins reply in the last video, he literally said in reference to a lot of times where they were just friends and they were at basketball games and, um, you know, NBA players. And she he was talking about all kind of guys over the years that would be interested in her. But he was just her friend. And the question that I would ask is during that time, if she would have looked at you and just said, boys, I'm ready. Let's 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 make this happen. I tend to believe that he would have been on board with it, which means that he's essentially what we call the beta male orbiter, the guy that the woman is essentially keeping on hold until time and circumstances happen in her life, typically meaning they got older, they're ready, they're going to settle down with this guy who has always been available to them. So, like, if you just listen to and read between the lines with a lot of things that Boyce Watkins is saying, it's proven that Corey Holcomb's original statement is right. Video. Look at your face. Look at her face. That is not the face of a woman who feel like, oh, he finally did it. That's the woman's face that's saying, damn, I ain't got no more options. <laughs> I heard you admit on air, yeah, we talked about what Corey said. That's right, you talked about what I've said. You think I'm just a comedian? That's a great picture man. right there, though. Oh. I'm, I, what does it say? It had descriptions? Who did that? Oh, my Look. God. Now, in my last video, I talked about how now this picture is going to resurface, how Boyce Watkins really should have just left 
Corey Holcomb alone, but he started it and came out of the blue with it. Now, back when boys originally got married, this picture was surfacing. It was all over the place. You see, they, they broke it down. They supruded it. Just it says, don't be this guy. Be this guy. And, you know, big smile versus relaxed smile. Open frame versus closed frame. Arm on the shoulder versus arm on the small of that back. Space. No space. Feminine stance. <laughs> Masculine stance. No shoes. <laughs> shoes. They, whoever made this was doing the most. But it, it's, it's, it's some truth in it, even though they, they overdid it. But I, 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 I see what they did there. What it say? Oh, no. Look how she, look how she closer to. Wait, is Willie D on? I didn't notice. Bro, wait, wait, wait. wait. Is Willie D waist. arm on the bottom of her it's back? Her waist. Hey, no. I see his fingers. No, no. <laughs> Why is she close to the wheel? <laughs> <laughs> she looks like she's going to push him off. <laughs> Oh, that's a cold game right there. Yeah, I didn't see that. <laughs> oh. I told you. Boys, I'm praying for you, black man. I'm not here to destroy you. You destroying yourself Ooh, still mentioning me. That. Wait, they, they wait. ain't lied about nothing. I can't see it you with this say camera. No shoes? Yeah, what is that? Thing in the name of not just being too petty with this thing, I would not feel compelled to even cover any of this stuff with Boys Watkins if it wasn't for the fact that he does spend an unnecessary, in my opinion, amount of time criticizing the men on the internet that speak up for men, and he does it on behalf of the women. He's basically being just like the the white knight to try to I'm gonna I'm gonna protect I'm gonna protect women from criticism of these evil men who make true statements on the internet about women. So if it wasn't for that, I, I, I'd leave this alone. But uh, you know, you know. Boys be asking for it, and that's what Corey Holcomb is essentially doing. He's giving somebody who continues to ask for it exactly what they're asking for. That, that, she mesmerized. That is a you talk willing to put that D on them. You talk so a... much shit about black men, Mr. Watkins, and your girl is in love with a ghetto boy. <laughs> oh my god, I feel bad for you. <laughs> my mind playing tricks on me. Hey man, mm -mm. hey Miss, hey, hey Mr. Watkins. You know she had a family without you, and then once it was safe, when well, she knew you wasn't sw shooting swimmers no more, she was like, "Fuck it, I get with oh, this motherfucker." Hey, you. use a retirement plan, my nigga. Like, Mr. Watkins. My life is throwed. My life is in shambles, <laughs> but I can live with it because I'm working to be better. How can you get better if somebody is with you that don't love you? That's too much of a knockout blow every morning. Seeing her leave the house, hoping she return uninserted. You got to put a face on. Got to put a face on. Mm. Or born with two of them. He good. I love you. Wait, I know you love me too. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, he, that's how he said it. <laughs> she only said back. I know you love me too. <laughs> she be like, bye. That's hilarious. I know you love me too. <laughs> I'm going to do some secretarial work for Willie D. <laughs> Click right here if you want to hear Boyce and Corey Holcomb explain in their own words the original series of events that started all of this nonsense.